boom, 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 wake up. Let's go, boys. Let's talk about cash. Let's talk about lifestyle. Let's talk about freedom. These are the real keys to the kingdom for you. This is what's going to change your life. This is what's going to turn you around. It's making the cash that you want. That's number one. So we're going to focus on cash in this video as I talk about in a lot of my videos, how to make cash. And what we're going to do is in the next couple of weeks, you'll see this if you're subscribed, we're going to focus a lot on cash strategies, specifically sales and how to actually make cash this year, how to hit the mark of 10K, 20K per month. Because this is going to allow you to build a lifestyle that you want. And that lifestyle is a lifestyle of freedom because I know you want freedom. I know that's what you want. 99% of people don't understand actually how difficult it is to find freedom. That's just the reality. 99% of people don't understand how difficult it is to find a life that is truly free. And I mean it. There's a lot of people I see on Instagram who are flaunting these high profile or, or you know, exotic looking lifestyles and they don't even have freedom. They're prisoners of their mind. They're prisoners to the algorithm. They're prisoners to trying to show a certain narrative and idea. 99% of people don't understand what it takes actually to find freedom and to unlock their lives where they have the reality that they want to have, that they want to exist in. And I'm going to explain to you what that reality looks like because I know what freedom means to me and I know what freedom probably means to you. I know for sure. So in this training, I'm going to, share, I'm going to tell you exactly how to get there. I'm going to tell you exactly what I did to get there, and I'm going to tell you what steps I'm taking to get there going forward, and I'm going to give you exactly what to do. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to tell it to you. I'm going to train you in here. So the first thing we need to understand is what is an unlocked lifestyle? What is the unlocked lifestyle? It's being able to access and invest in what you desire, and I could even add in here without limitations. Now, without limitations is relative because until you get to you know literally billionaire status where money is completely meaningless, you always have limitations always, but generally you want to be able to access and invest in what you desire, which means if you want to be able to travel somewhere, if you want to be able to invest in some kind of mastermind, if you want to be around a certain circle of people, a certain circle of men or date certain types of women, you should be able to access that. You should be able to invest in it. Now, of course, what you desire grows, what you desire changes with time. As you begin to access more, you begin to want more. But this is part one of the unlocked lifestyle. The second part is where you're not limited to your immediate location and environment. And this is something that I started learning in 2018 when I lived in Bali for the first time. And living in Bali for two months was absolutely amazing. And it changed my life because I realized I can make money from anywhere. I can print money literally print money anywhere because I was running a business at the time, a coaching business where I was coaching men in dating, self-improvement and mindset. And my business was making a hundred K a year, just at a hundred K we were at because I had launched an online course and we were doing really well. And I realized that making money, I was no longer limited to my immediate location. Before, I always had to be in the New York area or somewhere in New York or Miami to make money. But now, because I had this online course, I could make money anywhere. All I had to do was make YouTube videos and people would buy my course. So that was a huge thing for me, realizing that I was no longer limited to my immediate location and environment. The, the third part of this is having a skill set that can scale. This is a big one. So can your skill set scale? As in, can you make more and more money with your skill set or are you limited to just what your boss gives you or what your boss tells you or what your boss allows you to do? Have a skill set that can scale, that can be used in a wide variety of industries, a wide variety of scenarios, because that, trust me here, boss, that's going to give you the freedom. That's going to give you the unlocked lifestyle where your skill set scales. And number four, create and stack opportunities. So you start off with some opportunities, which are amazing and helpful and great. And then you stack, you add more opportunities on top of those ones. You add more opportunities and you find yourself in five years, six years, looking back at your life where you started and you're in a completely different position where you have so much more value. As an example with me, I started off charging guys $750 for a weekend of coaching, a weekend of training. Now the fee to work with me is upwards of $10,000, right? Just to work with me and train on mindset, train on dating, personal improvement. I still have clients I teach dating and self-development to. So you create and you stack opportunities and then you build relationships with high value individuals. That's huge. And this is what I've really been focused on now because before I didn't have an amazing network, but I've been working on building the right network around me and you start to build relationships with high value individuals and relationships with people that are actually going to add to your life, people that are going to help you create an unlocked 
lifestyle ultimately. You build those relationships, you leverage those relationships, and you get to the next level. And you give value to those people as well. That's really how the game works. To be clear, as we go into this training, I want you to understand, understand where this is going. I have nothing to sell you. What I really want is for you to take action. That's what I want. And the best action you can take is for yourself. The best action you can take is where you put yourself in a position to win, in a position to get success. If you want free education from me, subscribe. If you want this education two times a week, that's it. If you want free education, you want to grow and you want to learn and you want to understand the way the game is played and start getting results, start making money, start dating the girls you want, get better at your skill set, which I'm going to train you up in over the next couple of months. If you want to get better, just press subscribe. That's it. The education is going to be completely free. Now, the first thing we have to look at is the cash game, okay? The cash game is the secret. This cash game is the, the, the keys to the metaphorical kingdom, as it were. You are what you think you are. You have to normalize making cash. I really understood this when I looked at a lot of my cousins. I have some cousins that are trapped in the ghetto, that are trapped in the haze, which I'll tell you about here in this video. They're trapped in the negative spiral. And a lot of times the way they think about money, the way that they think about making cash doesn't help them. They see themselves as down here and the system is above them. They see themselves as needing handouts. They see themselves as needing something from the system. They don't believe they actually deserve to make tens of thousands of dollars. They don't believe it. It's not normal for them. And the moment they get some money, what do they do? They go out and try to get a fancy car with it. This is a problem that I see in our society today amongst a lot of young people as well. We don't think in terms of cash. We don't think in terms of making money. We don't think that money is normal. We don't think that it can be simple to make the money. It's never easy. That's the truth. But it can be simple to make money. It can be normal. So you are what you think you are. Here's what changed for me. Here's how I started thinking in terms of the cash game. I started talking and thinking in bigger numbers. That was number one. So when I would have conversations with people, those conversations started to become more and more about money. When I would talk to my friend, shout out to my boy, Edward, we talked a lot about business over the span of 2021 all the way to 2023. For a solid three years, we were talking just business, business, business. That was the focus of all of our conversations, and both of our businesses did well as a result. Not just because the conversations, also because we put in a lot of work behind it. But my conversations started coming, becoming about money and about making cash. I started also dreaming about making money. That was another big part of this. It helped me make more money. I started thinking in terms of cash. I started thinking in terms of money because right now... Think about this. Where is your brain oriented? Your brain is probably oriented towards stimulation, towards comfort, towards safety, staying in your comfort zone, not taking risks, right? But if you start thinking about money, you start thinking of opportunities that are going to actually allow you to make money. I'm going to give you a really good example of this, okay? Let's say right now you had an extra $2,000 in your pocket. There's pretty much three things that I've seen most guys will do with this. Let's say you have two, 2K in your pocket, okay? Just extra sitting over, just a random 2K dropped in your account and you have to do something with it. You can't just like burn it. You have to do something. So some guys would just save it. They'd say, okay, I'm gonna put it in savings, be responsible, I'll put that away for the future. Good, that, that's not bad, I can't fault you for that. Other guys would, I don't, know, I don't know, go blow it on dates, go take a small vacation, go travel down to Miami for a weekend, even though you're going to probably spend more than 2K. But they'll travel down to Miami, hang out for a bit. You know, they're like, good, I got money that's going to allow me to have a bit of fun right now. Okay. The third way, and this is what the cash game is, is you would maybe hire someone. Or maybe if you have a small course, you would invest in making that course better. Or you would pay for a mentorship program. You'd spend $1,500 in the first month of mentorship from a coach or some consultant you trust. And you would try to find a way to make back more money within that month and invest again so you can stay in that program. All right? That's the example of the cash game. The first two are not thinking in terms of, I want to make more cash. They're thinking in terms of comfort, safety, or just pleasure not helpful, doesn't help you. Whereas the third person, which is the kind of person I am, I take that money and I bring it back. So as an example, this month, I had a great month in terms of business, in terms of sales for, for what I do as a high ticket closer. I've crushed it this month and the company I work with actually added on a lot of bonus on top of what I make. What am I doing with that? One, I have debts to a business partner that I'm paying off. That's one. So you got to take care of business stuff. Then number two, I'm being very transparent here. Number two is I'm going to reinvest that back into this YouTube channel. And actually, I'm going to hire someone to edit, someone to help me make more IG content. I'm hiring an agency, and I'm going to spend a couple grand on that agency, and I'm going to work with them, right? Because I can do more with them than I would if I was doing it myself. I'm not saving the money. 
my girl wants a phone. I could just buy her a phone, like spend a grand on that. I might do that next month, but I could do that, right? But I'm not. I'm instead reinvesting and spending pretty much everything I've got, not all the money I own, but spending most of, you know, what comes in back into this, back into making good content, back into streamlining things, back into serving you guys at a high level. You're not even paying me, right? Like I'm doing this for free and because I'm trying to build a brand because I'm trying to make an impact. So that's how I'm thinking about money. That's my use of cash. And what I do with my cash is I, I, and not just cash only, but I focused on getting my skill set from a C plus to an A plus. I'm going to break down skill sets in another video. But if your skill set right now is at like a fucking F or a D and you need to, you need to get more money, you need to work on your, your money, especially if you are in sales, if you are in high ticket sales, which I know many of you watching this are, you need to get your skill set from a C plus to an A plus. If you're a business owner and you're trying to make more money, you're trying to earn more, get your skill set from a C plus to an A plus. Are you a C minus or a C in marketing? right, where you could do better marketing yourself, get it to an A. Are you a C in terms of how you build your community, get it to an A. Are you a C in terms of how you sell or how you develop your course and your services and your products? If so, get it to an A. Or you need to be a better leader, get that to an A. Build your skill set. Build the skill set up. For me, I closed out the year, those of you who watch me know this, I closed out the year 2000. 23 last year, literally just doing sales. I completely stopped going to the gym. I stopped everything besides sales. And all I did was work on my skill set in sales so I could become elite level at sales. And I'm getting there. And if I'm not already there, you know, I, I, there's no way to really measure it, but I've gotten insanely good in the last couple of months at sales. The other part of this is read books that are focused on wealth creation and cash skill sets. That's the other part of this. Read books that are focused on wealth and cash skill sets right? Books like $100 million offers or $100 million leads by Alex Hormozzi. Persuasion by Robert B. Cialdini. Read books that are focused on wealth creation and cash skill sets because that's going to unlock your mind to get to the next level in the cash game. Here's the model for building leverage. And here's what the best model that I found is. It's high ticket sales. This is the best model I've seen. And, and anyone can fight me on this. I'll fight everyone on this. It doesn't mean that there's not other business models that are better. But if you're a young man or woman, if you're a young person who wants to make money, or you've been entrapped in a nine to five and you don't necessarily have a business development skill set, but you want to be, be involved in a business. You want to be one step away from the team that's producing, the team that's, you know, bringing the cash in. If you want to be in that space, what you do is get into high ticket sales because it solves everything for you. Um, if you get good, it's not easy. So I'm not telling you get into high ticket sales because it's easy. So if you're looking for the quick cash grab, don't do high ticket sales. You probably should become an appointment center. Then you'll make less cash, but it's easy to make money. So selling high price services for business owners and taking a percent. That's what you do as a high ticket closer in high ticket sales. You get paid more as your skill increases. So as you get better, you get paid more. That's why I've started making really, really good money as a closer. And that's why I'm able to hit months where I'm doing 10, 20 K relatively easily. It's because I'm getting paid more because my skill set increased and I got way better. You don't need years waiting for a boss to give you a promotion. You don't need that. You don't need years and years waiting for someone to give you permission to make more money. Fuck that. You get good at the skill. And as you get good at the skill, you'll make more. And the high ticket space is an industry with wide open opportunities. There's tons of opportunities out there. There's so many, so much room for high ticket closers who are good to come in. If you're not good, you need to get better at your skill set. The key for you, and I, I urge every man watching this, you have to see through the haze. What is the haze? Some people call it the matrix. The haze is settling. It's wasted potential. It's enjoying mediocrity. It's enjoying comfort and safety. The first step, when I say it, all my videos, the beginning of the, of the video, always wake up, wake up and get out of the haze, get out of the haze, wake up and see what's going on. What does haze mean? The haze is the cloud it's the murky dust, the dirt, where you can't see what's in front of you. There's stuff coming at you and you can't see your way because you just see this dirt. You just see this haze, this cloud, right? You have to wake up and get out of the haze because if you're trapped in the haze, you'll only see what's right in front of you and you can't see the vision. You can't see the path. You don't see the skill set. You don't see the growth. And one of the ways that you get out of the haze, one of the ways you wake up is you become a master at your skill. But what's interesting is in order to become a master at your skill, in order to practice your skill, you have to focus on it, which means you're not going to be in the haze. Because what's the haze? The haze is you go into your job, you clock in, you punch in, right, like a proper worker, and then you go home and you watch TV shows. Or you go on that date on a Friday night, you go to the comedy show, go to the comedy special, have a couple drinks at the bar, and do it all again on Monday. And you look forward to your 10 days of vacation where you can simmer down and sit on a boat or sit on a beach 
and hang out with everyone else who has to go back to their miserable lives. That's the truth. And I'm not going to mince words. I'm not going to be easy on you. That's the haze. That's what it is. And most people are trapped in the haze. Most people are stuck in the haze and they're not actually, as my good friend Martin says, printing money from the sky, <laughs> making money from the sky. They don't have an unlocked lifestyle. And you know what? That's fine. My goal in these videos is not that everyone achieves greatness. My goal is not that everyone gets help. My goal is not that everyone steps out of the haze because everyone won't. Society wouldn't function if everyone was trying to be me or everyone was trying to be where you want to be. It just doesn't make sense. That's not how the world is going to work. That's not the reality. But you are an individual. You're not just a part of the collective. You are an individual and you have the opportunity to create your own path. You have the opportunity to forge your own destiny. And that requires you to step out of the haze to wake up to see beyond the confusion, to see beyond the distractions, to see beyond the settling and the wasted potential and the comfort and the safety, and to actually become a master at your skill set. Again, especially if you're a closer, you really have to do this, or especially if you're an even appointment setter who wants to get into high ticket sales and you have to gain lifestyle leverage, or if you're just a business owner, if you're a business owner, someone who cares about their own self-improvement so they can make more money, you must wake up and get out of the haze. And part of this also is taking control of your vices, What's keeping you in the haze? What, what do you do? What, do you, what are you addicted to that makes you feel so comfortable and stops you from actually going into greatness? What are you addicted to that actually stops you from being great and from creating the life that you want? That's what you want to get past and get rid of. One thing you have to understand and realize, my friend, is that a tool of the haze is the subconscious programming all around you. There's subtle programming happening constantly. It's coming into your, your, your psyche and it's infiltrating you. There's a war for your mind. And I'm not just telling you this. It's be, I'm saying this because I've been a victim of this myself. Me, I'm going to be really real with you, bro. I alternate in between and out of the haze. There's moments where I, I'm fully out the haze and I'm crushing it and I'm zipping forward. And then I fail. And then I fail. I fail hard for two weeks straight. Two weeks, I'll just be scrolling. I'll just be binging shows right? I'll be doing things that are, that are taking me away from purpose, that are taking me back into the haze and making me more comfortable, right? But what you have to do is constantly be aware and realize that a tool of the haze is the programming actually. What you can do though, here's the good news, is you don't have to be a victim to it. You can take back control. You can reprogram yourself. An example of reprogramming yourself is one, the algorithm. What pops up on your algorithm when you scroll? What's so funny is whenever I, I do this a lot with girls, if I, if I grab a girl's IG while I'm out with a couple of my friends, you know, or out going somewhere and I'll meet a girl, grab her Instagram, I'll go to search for my name in the, in the, you know, the feed and I'll press the search bar and you can see what comes up in her recommended for a lot of girls. It's makeup and all that, right? <laughs> Some girls it's business stuff. Surprisingly, some girls it's fitness stuff, which is great. And you know, I'm not looking at guys, Instagrams normally cause I'm not typing my Instagram and guys stuff, but generally, you know, you can see what the algorithm is feeding you and you can see what's important to you. You can see what's important to you. When you tap that explore page, you can see what comes up. You can train the algorithm to give you information that's actually going to help you grow and going to motivate you and inspire you. And even that, by the way, is too much. Like if you're listening to influencers on IG all the time, you probably need to change something there too. That's not helping you. But generally when you are online, what kind of info is being programmed to you? What's being fed to you? What's being thrown at you, right? How are you being, how are you being trained by the algorithm or how, or how are you training the algorithm? I should say what you listen to as well is huge. What goes into your ears? And I'm not just talking about podcasts here. I'm not talking about YouTubers. I'm actually talking about music. What do you listen to? I know for me, and I'll give you one of my secrets here. I listen to stoic ambience. It's not fun. It's not sexy. It's not attractive. It's boring. It's simple, but I want it to be boring because I want to take stimulus from my work. I want to take pleasure. I want to take inspiration from myself, my own ideas. And then the few mentors that I do give my attention, my energy to, that's where I want to take my stimulus from, right? So what do you listen to? Do you develop boundaries? Let's look at that. Extreme boundaries around your growth, around your personal development, around your success. Do you develop extreme boundaries about what you will and will not do? That's also huge. You must become mentally strong. You must be mentally strong. Mental strength means where you're not easily thrown off of course. You're not easily thrown off of the path. The path towards excellence, the path towards success, you stick on that path. And when the haze throws things at you, when it throws distractions at you, when it throws out 
um, different vices, different items, different pieces of information that are going to take you off the path, whether it's that interesting new show that you'll want to binge for three, four days, or whether it's getting back into playing lots of video games, or whether it's getting back into porn, whatever that is for you, do you, are you mentally strong and you resist it? You resist the mind of the haze. Can you resist that? Because that's really the key, my friend. That's what's going to turn the, 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 the door for you and unlock the entire kingdom for you. The other part of this is doing the work, investing time in your skill set. Here's, here's the other part where, which really made me the money and makes me the money. It's doing work. So all this other stuff backs that and it makes it easier for me to do the work because my mind is in the right place. And because I am working on myself, I am guiding myself. I am setting a high standard for who I want to be as a man. But outside of that is also just doing the work itself. You can do all these mindset hacks and, you know, work on yourself in that way, which is amazing. You need to do this. That's why I started with it. But at the end of the day, it comes down to doing the work, investing time in your skill set. Study, and I'm going to be talking a lot about this in the next coming weeks. This is going to be the focus of most of my trainings, by the way, getting good at a skill set and talking about how to get really, really elite level as a closer. And I'll still be putting in self-improvement, but this is going to be a big focus because I want you guys to make money this year. I want you to cash out. I want you to build something great. I want you to have freedom. So invest time in your skill set. Number one, study and train. Study and train under a mentor, someone who is good, someone who's better than you, someone who's got their skill at an A or A plus level. Study and train under them. Watch your own skill, which means go and look back at what you're doing and keep note and keep track of how well you're doing and how well you're performing. Where do you need to get better? Number three is surround yourself with high performers. My circle is of men who are at or above the level I'm at. And if they're below the level I'm at, then I'm a mentor to them and I'm helping them get next level. Right? There's a couple of guys right now that I'm specifically mentoring, guys that I'm in communication with that I'm helping get better, and guys that are going to that are gonna impart into me as they grow, as they learn and have experiences, they're going to help me with stuff, right? So I'm just putting out threads, and I'm going to receive in abundance as well. You have to surround yourself with the right people and with high performers, because that's really the key. It's doing the work by investing time in the skill set through studying and training, watching your own skill set, and then surrounding yourself with the right performers. Create your own content and document the journey. Start showing your wins. Don't just go out and, and get success and keep it to yourself. The truth is you need to build a digital resume. And building a digital resume, a digital resume comes down to documenting your journey, which is showing your wins off. All right? When you win, when you get success, can you show it? Can you tell people, hey, this is how I got success. This is how I grew. This is how I won. This is how I went to the next level. What I really want you to do, and I want to see you do this over the next couple of months, man, and I, I really want to hear from you. Message me. Send me a message on OxyTim. At OxyTim is my Instagram. Let me know how you're doing. Get better 1% every single day. That's it. Just 1% better is all I ask. Even if it's a half percent, one day forward is better than no days, right? One day forward is better than just moving backwards or staying where you are. So just get 1% better. Make that video, close that deal. Watch a video or watch a call that you had that wasn't so good if you're a closer, right? Look at a marketing campaign that you've ran that wasn't so good. Look at how your products can be better. Look at how you can work on your fitness more. How can you push yourself just 1% in one of these areas? Maybe it's fitness, maybe it's mindset, maybe it's your network, but how can you do things to get 1% better? Because the key is you want to be constantly moving forward. While everyone else is stagnating, the world's competitive, you know it's competitive. How can you constantly be moving forward and adjusting the needle where it's just a little bit forward every single day? Because that's really the key, bud. That's what the key is here, boss. It's moving forward every day and not falling behind. You don't want to fall behind. And I'll end with this. It's a quote from David Goggins. The biggest thing is to stop thinking you deserve anything. You don't deserve anything. Now go out and earn it. That's it. You don't deserve anything. You have to go out and earn it. And that's the key to the cash. That's the key to the freedom. That's the key to the castle for you. Okay? So I want to see you grow by 1% every day or more. But more than 1% is going to be real hard. <laughs> grow by 1% a day. Take initiative in your life. Move forward. You know, grind, hustle. And don't just hustle with nothing in mind. Build your skill set. Work on eliminating your vices. Become 1% better and let me know how I can help you. I'm just a message away on Instagram at OxyTim. O-X-Y dot T-I-M. Simple as that. I've got nothing to sell you. Just shoot me a message on Instagram. I'll send you back an audio. You and I will chat about where you're at and we'll see how I can help. Okay? Be blessed. Take care. Get out of the haze. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Let's go. I'll see you on the next one.